the 3D blend tool allows you to create blends between two vectors and specify how you would like them to look between the two heights. The 3D blend tool is located on the same toolbar as the shape editor. Here you can see a ceiling rose that I have created. I have done this on a separate layer and have created a new layer called base. I'm going to just turn off the detail layer as I don't need to see that at the moment. I also have some vectors created, so I am going to make them visible. When you open the tool, the first thing I normally do is to sort out the heights of the blend and the selection. Select the vector that you want to use for the border of the blend first and the inside vector second. They have to be in this order for it to work. Next is to enter a height for the border. In this case, 25 millimeters. This will generate a relief which is 25 millimeters in height and goes down to zero on the inside because an inner height hasn't been entered yet. If I enter 50 millimeters for the inner, it will jump up to 50 millimeters. Now you can see that it has gone to a point in the middle. If I want it to stop at the inner vector and leave a flat, select the fill inner vector option. Now let's look at the profiles. This is the shape that it creates between the blend. At the moment, it is set to linear, so it's just a straight angle. I can choose convex, concave, or smooth, and adjust how much of this shape is going to be on the blend. Again, make sure to select apply when you have finished and happy to accept the relief. To continue, I want to add a flat of 25 millimeters onto the two inside vectors. So I'm going to quickly use the shape editor to do this, making sure to use the merge high because if I were to add, there may be rogue pixels overlapping and it would create spikes on top of the existing relief. For the outside shape, I am again going to use the 3D blend, but my selection is going to be a little different. If I select the border and the inner, but also select the cross section in the top left corner, this will allow me to add that as a profile rather than one of the predefined ones. This can be edited in real time like the other tools. Again, make sure that this is set to merge high and then I can select apply. Finally, I can turn on the ceiling rose detail to show the finished model.